Well, the origin for uh, this New Testament biblical theology was in a course I began teaching in the late 1980s at Gordon-Conwell Seminary. Uh, it was called the New Testament Theology, though in reality it was a New Testament biblical theology, which I'll elaborate on what that means in a moment. The uh, uh, the course that I taught, I continued to teach at least every other year when I went to Wheaton College Graduate School. I continued to teach this and all along I was developing this and writing articles in various publications, uh, journals, etc. Uh, developing uh, this New Testament biblical theology uh, as the course developed as well. And at Westminster Theological Seminary I'm continuing to teach this sort of thing. Uh, why am I calling this a New Testament uh, biblical theology and not a New Testament theology, of course, in past years, uh, especially among evangelical authors, but others as well, there have been New Testament theologies. And so why uh, am I making a difference uh, with the title New Testament Biblical Theology? Well, uh, in reality, this uh, is fitting more into a German uh, scene than an American scene. Peter Stuhlmacher, Peter Stuhlmacher and uh, Hans Hubner both have uh, uh, volumes called A New Testament Biblical Theology. And their attempt, though they do this in different ways, is to try to understand the New Testament from its Old Testament background. Um, uh, now, typical New Testament theologies will uh, take each New Testament book, usually and roughly in its uh, canonical order, and study the main themes in the book. Sometimes they'll do that inductively and summarize the themes at the end, or sometimes they'll discern the themes at the beginning and run those themes through each New Testament book. Um, what I'm trying to do that's different, and by the way, it's different from Stuhlmacher and uh, Hubner, uh, because they also operate roughly canonically uh, in the canonical order of the New Testament books. What I've done is to have a first major section after my introduction uh, uh, that's describing the difference uh, between this book and other New Testament theologies. Uh, in the first substantial chapter, I have a thumbnail sketch of an Old Testament biblical theology in, in, in which I try to formulate an Old Testament um, redemptive historical storyline. And then I move into the New Testament to show how that storyline has been unfolded, even transformed. And then what structures the rest of the New Testament biblical theology is a uh, each part of that storyline becomes a chapter. So uh, now within that chapter, I'm, I may sometimes operate more canonically uh, uh, and see how that theme works canonically. Sometimes I'll leave certain books out if the theme isn't found in the book. So mine is structured according to uh, uh, an Old Testament storyline unfolded uh, into a, a New Testament storyline. And each part of that storyline then forms uh, the, the topics uh, for the rest of the chapter. Uh, the rest of the book. Now, uh, the, so what I'm really saying is this, that uh, the uniqueness uh, of this book is to really see every major uh, uh, New Testament theological notion as having its roots in the Old Testament. And secondly, to see every major New Testament notion as an already and not yet end time idea. Um, so that what was uh, uh, foreshadowed and predicted in the old has begun fulfillment but not consummated fulfillment in the new. Uh, and uh, one can certainly understand the New Testament without uh, reading this book uh, and using the uh, Old Testament and already and not yet lenses uh, that I have on. But I do believe that uh, once you have these two lenses on, uh, the major ideas of the New Testament are understood in more uh, richness and uh, deepness. So uh, that is the main difference. Uh, certainly some might see this, oh, this is just a, an emphasis uh, that's a little bit more than you find in other New Testament theologies, but actually I think that mine is more apples, the others are oranges. They weren't attempting to do what I'm uh, doing, and I'm not attempting to do what they were doing. Their, their works were uh, good in their own right. Um, so that's the main difference. Uh, that's why I call this a New Testament biblical theology, because I'm trying to see the New Testament in the light, not just in the New Testament, but also in the light of the whole Old Testament, and then how those Old Testament ideas were developed in, in early Judaism, and then how the New Testament uh, develops those ideas.